Welcome to the StockMentor.com studios here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I am your stock mentor, Brian Johnson, and I'm making professional trading simple. And a choppy day on the market today. It was a little bit mixed. Dow and S&P were down. NASDAQ up slightly, basically break even, but still a mixed day of trading in the markets as it consolidates and gets ready for its next move. You can see the choppy action. Very difficult to play this. Very hard to make a lot of profits in here unless you're uh, you know, really know what you're doing, you're really nimble. Uh, but if I drew it all in, we're basically creating what could be here a symmetrical triangle, waiting for a break of that. Uh, if you're looking to take this low uh, to the downside, I would wait for a break of 10, 200. That'd be a pretty defensible, safe place to get short, or above 10, 300 still if you want to remain bullish on the markets. A break up and above that could make for some good intraday trading. If we look at it on a daily time frame, two nice candles up followed by a straight uh, kind of a sideways candle here could put in another kind of a high base type of a look we did hold this area here right around the 10 250 held above that closed above that again that's that's good for the bulls to see them holding on to that uh, next target to the upside is definitely 10 431 got to be very careful of that when you uh, if in fact we break above 10 300 this would be my next level obviously 10 500 above that uh, otherwise to the downside 10 uh, 200 take us back down and we could retest these lows down here on a break to the downside nasdaq from a 60 minute breaking through this channel getting above the 50 so it finally kind of this is you this is kind of odd usually the latin nasdaq i consider to be the leading indicator tends to be kind of lagging in this case where the other indices have already done this uh, the NASDAQ is just now finally starting to make it, but a very, very slow, arduous climb for the NASDAQ as it comes back. The uh, higher level is going to be this 1800 followed by 1820 to 1825 area in here. If it can keep it going to the upside, if not, it might see a little bit of a sideways action to a pullback tomorrow. Keep it right in this area, so be very careful if you're trading the NASDAQ over the next couple days. Uh, on the weekly, you can see we are back above the 20-week moving average, but we're only two days into the week. This candle can look like anything by the end of it. So be very careful, as I said. Watch the next few days uh, to see what we get. Maybe a, a little down up type of an action before the end of the week. Very difficult to tell. So you got to be uh, very, very nimble in here if you're taking profits. Anything up to this 1800 to 1815 area should be some uh, resistance up in there. I'd say 1800 would probably be the most logical place of overhead resistance on the NDX. From an XPX version, same thing, looking like the Dow, kind of a symmetrical triangle here. Look at that sideways action. Very, very, very hard to trade this sideways the whole day not really much to do at this point what do you do look to stocks or sit on your hands either one of those is the right answer so sit on your hands do nothing enjoy the day or uh, maybe look to some individual stocks to see if there are a few things out there that are actually moving at all that you can catch a, a little rise or a little a uh, little fall on but nothing to trade today in the indices as you can see SPX on a daily coming right back up to this overhead resistance at the 1100 area. Uh, high was 1102, so once again trying to break that 1103 to 1105 area, which is my bigger area of overhead resistance. Uh, looking for, man, I'm not sure. For, to the downside, I'm probably going to wait for a break below 1070 before I really start to look short. At this point, if you want to take some intraday trades below 1085, okay, it's not a bad trade there. But from a longer term swing perspective, I'm waiting for a break of 1070 from where we're at right now. A break above 1105, I'm going to start looking at the 1115 area for my overhead resistance. That'll be probably a pretty tough area of overhead resistance. I think there's a lot of people. We got moving averages up here, and we got a lot of overhead resistance where I think there's a, a lot of people in pain up in that area. From a weekly perspective, once again, starting to come back up above the 20 week moving average, but it's only Tuesday. VIX <clears throat> up barely today. Uh, the fear still flat to just kind of flat i'm not going to say it's up because it really isn't this is just moving straight sideways had that huge move up a couple weeks back and now we're starting to see it kind of flatten out a little bit uh, waiting to see if this changes by the end of the week if the markets continue to move up rest of the week though we could see this come back and retest this 20 maybe even this green line but i would i'm just going to aim for the 20 
area right now. Apple on a 60 minute was up $3.37. The only real trade I would have seen would have been maybe a break.